Hi, welcome to the numeracy five a day answers for the 20th of April. Okay, our first question. Our first question is naming some 3D shapes and it says name the solid. So here we've got a sphere and the next shape is a cone. Okay, next question. Our next question says to draw all the lines of symmetry on the letter H. So here we've got the letter H and it would have two lines of symmetry, a vertical line of symmetry and a horizontal line of symmetry. Okay, next question. Our next question is a tally chart question and we have to complete the tally chart. So let's go through the colors. We've got green, that's tally. Red, tally there. Green, green, white, blue, green, red, 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 red. Now we've got to five, so we're gonna put a line, not like that, <laughs> one, two, three. Uh, line through the middle, it could be through the middle like that, or it could be actually, I tend to do mine diagonally like that. <laughs> okay, I never read, so that's six. Green, that's now got to five, so again, put a line through it. Blue and green. And then completing the frequencies, well, that would be two, one, six, and six. Remember, frequency just means how many. And let's add them up and see that we've got we've got the right number. So six plus six is 12, plus another one is 13, plus two is 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's great. Okay, our next question. Our next question says, Victoria thinks that 27 is a prime number. Explain why she's wrong. Well, a prime number is a number that's only divisible by one and itself. But 27 was divisible by other numbers because 3 times 9 is equal to 27. So it's also divisible by 3 and 9. So 27 is divisible by 1, 3, 9, and 27. Therefore, it is not prime. Okay, and our next question. So our next question, our next question, we've got some discs. We've got green, green, red, green, red, green. And it says a disc is selected at random and it says write down the probability of picking a green disc. So we've got one, two, three, four greens and all together there's six discs. So the probability of getting a green is four sixths. But the question says give your answer as a simplified fraction. So let's cancel down four sixths. So we can divide both of these by two to get two thirds. So the probability of choosing a green disc at random here would be two thirds.